Did you know that one of the most anticipated astronomical events that scientists are waiting to witness is the Betelgeuse supernova? And what is the Betelgeuse supernova to begin with? And when will this event occur? And better yet, is the event really going to be disastrous for our planet, as some believe, or are the claims a bit far-fetched? If you're curious to find out, then watch this video till the end. Also, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. With that said, let's jump right in. Coming right to the point, first things first, Betelgeuse, often pronounced like Betelgeuse, comes from an Arabic word meaning the armpit of a giant, and is considered to be one of the brightest red supergiant stars. According to the space database, the brilliant red giant, whose discovery dates back to the first century BCE, is located in the upper right shoulder of the winter constellation Orion, also known by its alternative name, Alpha Uranus. It is also considered to be the 10th brightest star in the sky and the 7th brightest star visible from most of North America, Europe, and Canada. Interestingly enough, the actual distance of Betelgeuse from our Earth is unknown. However, scientists believe it to be anywhere from 430 to 724 light years away. This presumably means that the star is not only the brightest, but also one of the closest to our Earth. But this is not all. There is another essential thing that you need to know about this red giant. The thing is that much to the amazement and horror of scientists, they saw the star blast its outer surface into space in 2019, a very unexpected cosmic event they had never seen before in a normal star. According to the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, the eruption was so catastrophic that it blew off 400 billion times greater than the plasma that occasionally spews from our sun's cornea. But this was not all. The eruption was so powerful that the star got so dim that even backyard stargazers could notice it without any special optics for up to a few months. As a result of this explosion, a lot of people were left wondering if Betelgeuse was on the brink of an explosive stellar death. However, they were in for a shock. That's because when scientists focused the Hubble telescope on the ginormous star, they were shocked to see that despite the fading just after a few months, the star's brightness had returned to normal. To give you a clear estimate, Betelgeuse began a rapid decrease in its brightness in October 2019, and by mid-February 2020 had lost roughly three times as much brightness going from a magnitude 0.5 to magnitude 1.7. However, by the 17th of February 2022, Betelgeuse's brightness had been quite stable for more than a week. However, by day 5, it appeared that Betelgeuse had stopped dimming altogether, effectively ending the event once and for all. The mass ejection, accordingly, was blamed on a large grain of circumstellar dust. This claim was based on the data collected from observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2022. The findings stated that millions of kilometers away from the star's surface, the material ejected from the star's surface cooled and compacted to become the star's waning dust. And because the star's photosphere is several times as massive as our moon, it broke apart and sailed off into space, which caused the dimming and made the star noticeable to even normal enthusiastic stargazers who don't have any special instruments to see the star. But if you're wondering, what part does the James Webb Space Telescope play in all of this? Well, you see, although the observation had the blasting event was made by the Hubble telescope, the telescope can help us spot only distinguishable features of a star. Apart from that, it does not have the ability to observe findings in infrared that is at a distance of billions of light years away. And that is exactly where JWST comes in. According to scientists at NASA, the JWST will, for the first time in space history, help them in studying the materials ejected by the star that are now floating billions of light years away from the star. This will only be possible thanks to NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's infrared seeing ability. 
This leads us to another important question. If the star has regained its brightness, does that mean that there is going to be no supernova event? Or, if it is going to happen, how will it happen? To answer this, it is believed that even though the star succeeded in retaining its brightness, scientists have warned that the star will blow up because its life cycle is about to come to an end. And they are now warning that when the time comes, a supernova will happen, and there is no doubt about that. Scientists believe the event will occur when the star eventually runs out of its primary fuel, hydrogen. Once the star starts to run out of hydrogen, it will have to rely on helium and carbon for combustion. And ultimately, when all the helium has been consumed, neon will react with carbon to produce iron. And when this occurs, the energy released by the fusion of neon and iron will be absorbed and begin to burn within the star. As a result, this high gravity will cause the star to collapse in on itself, triggering a supernova, which is a powerful and luminous explosion of a star, and occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a mass star, or when a white dwarf is triggered into runaway nuclear fusion with the power of 10 billion suns. Finally, the most critical question in this regard is, when will this supernova event occur, and what are the disastrous consequences that we may have to face on Earth in the near future due to this supernova event? Well, you see the exact timing of this occurrence is hotly contested. According to some, we probably won't see this event happening in our lives because it will take innumerable years for the hydrogen to run out, while others believe that who knows Maybe the event could happen tomorrow, or in a month's time. It's something that only time will tell. And as far as the event's disastrous impact on our Earth is related, scientists believe that since Betelgeuse, despite its nearness, is still at some distance, that it will not have a direct impact on our Earth, and therefore the explosion won't kill or even severely disrupt life here on Earth. The fun news is that according to astronomers, the safest distance from a supernova for human life is at least 50 light years, making Betelgeuse over 10 times more distant. As a result, if the event were to occur in our lifetimes, everyone on Earth will get to witness the show of a very bright star suddenly appearing in the sky and exploding into non-existence. With that said, do you wish that the supernova event could take place in your lifetime? Or is it something that's just a meh event for you? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Also, if you've enjoyed watching this video, do press the like button and tap subscribe to stay notified and keep watching amazing space videos on our channel. See you in the next video.